All right, guys, we're back at the mini cell builder. Last time I was here was, was Thursday. And we caged up some cells and we set our target comb. Today's Monday and it's grafting day. So, first thing I'm going to do is if you recall, we had a uh, couple cells left on a bar. And I caught on that, I caged them on that Thursday, which was the day they were just capped. And I had a couple left over. And today is the first day that. I can move them. So on, on our schedule, and I'll put that a picture of it in the video post. We have two days we can move today, we can move tomorrow, and then we can move or we can move today, we can move tomorrow, and then the cells will st start emerging on the third day, which is Wednesday, and we don't want that to happen in the cell building. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these cells and I'm going to put them in the incubator downstairs. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull out our target frame from the queen right side. Uh, yesterday I did go, pull the uh, door plug out the back and I inserted the slide bar so I've got three frame section over here that is queen right and the other six is queen less and really in the mood to make us some queens. Looking for our queen here. Don't see her on either side of this guy. She's only started to lay up this frame too. So we're a little bit, a little bit behind on this guy. Uh, that's all right. Let's go to the next one. Okay, well, I can see my queen right here, and I'm just going to kind of chase her off the frame. There, she goes into the hole with the tool. Now what I just did is a poor move because I wasn't thinking. You don't want to shake the frame you're going to graft off because you can dislodge your larva. And what I should have done is grab my brush and brush those bees off. So that may cause me a little bit of problem down the road. But I've got material here I can work with. So let's go graph. All right, well, I'm set up down here in the basement three bars today. Need to get my tool softening. One of the first things I do, I've already done one round, is I'm going to mist a little bit. So I just want to bring up the general humidity of the area so the larvas don't draw, uh, dry out. And grafting really is simple guys. It's, if you can pick a cherry off out of the shot glass with a spoon, you can graft. Obviously I've got a little more setup than most people, but key tool I find, which I just sprayed with water, <laughs> is magnifiers. Allows you to see the larva, allows you to see what you're doing. 
Um, that last batch I did where my take was a little bit off, I did. I just bought these. These are like five bucks at Harbor Freight, but I didn't. I couldn't find my set from last year. So I kind of grafted blind, and the results. Well, they showed it. So let me check the camera positioning one more time. Oh, sure. I hope you guys can see that well. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use the light here, and we're gonna find some really, really small larva because. Things didn't work out according to plan, which, you know, that's beekeeping. Flip this frame upside down, actually. And in the uh, Club Queenery forum, someone had asked, you know, why was I teaching the uh, 315 instead of the 36 that they were seeing me do here? And the answer is exactly what you saw today. For whatever reason, the queen didn't start laying on my target frame on time, and while I have eggs there, I don't have any graftable larva, so I had to pick a different frame. And now instead of just going like a machine across, I have to hunt and peck, and I have to visually inspect to make sure the, lar the larva I'm using is nice and small and young so that we make a quality queen. So, we've got a couple, like that one right there. Yeah. Looks like this grafting tool may have been messed up a little bit. I'll try to see the other side of that frame, see how it's doing there. Ah, uh, there, maybe. Here we go. This far corner's got some of what I'm looking for. I've just got, I'm right at the transition line where it transitions from a row of eggs to a row of larvae. That way I'm getting really young, small larvae. I'm just pressing the tool in and it kind of automatically follows the curve of the box. Mess that one up. The curve of the floor it picks up the the larva. It's better to have an older comb that's been used a few times so that the cocoons build up and the bottom's a little smoother. But once you relax a little bit, you kind of just let the tool do its work just like I did there and scoop out your larva in one kind of fell sloop sloop oh, a scoop like so and I'm carefully placing it in the center this is the Chinese grafting tool it's the easiest I've found there's a bunch of different ways to do things and I messed up that larva you gotta make sure you don't flip them because if you, put, if you turn them over they only breathe on one side if you flip them they drown in their pool of jelly the main thing about grafting is don't be intimidated it's a skill you need to learn um, it takes time to learn a new skill when you were a child you fell all the time trying to learn to walk and you just picked yourself up and you fell again and that's one of the reasons I kind of developed this cell builder system is so you can fail repeatedly and easily fail fast fail cheap and then 
Ah, tu es contre moi. Yep. And then learn from your mistakes and try again. See if flipping it over. Sometimes flipping them makes it easier. This unfortunately is. Help. This is a foundationless comb, so it. Uh, I like grafting off black plastic that's been used a couple times. One of the things you can do, plastic foundation, is you can go in and you can collapse the cells and you just scrape it off with your hive tool, and then the larvae are sitting right there in the indentation of the plastic right before, and you don't even harm them, and it makes them really easy to uh, scoop up for the first timer. And the plastic makes it a little easier to uh, scoop them than these natural cells. But, you know, I'm still dealing with a lot of combs that I inherited from people or whatnot. So, and a lot of folks with uh, foundationless frames got out of the hobby. I think probably because foundationless gives you a lot of drones. And drones give you a lot of mites. This is only second graft of the year, so I'm still struggling a little bit to uh, find my groove. But let's see if I can focus on what we got going on here. Nope. Gonna need a better camera for that. All right. Well, I'm gonna graft up uh, two more, two more bars, and then we'll go stick them in the hive. All right. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drop this frame of grafts into the hive really quickly space right next to the nursery bar and I'm going to float in my grafting frame okay hop over here I'm going to put the target that actually it wasn't the target the frame I used back in here Queen right side. Now, what I didn't do the last time I was here and should have, is I need to open this guy up if I can. And I need to shake off every single frame. And I need to make sure that they haven't decided to make their own queens because this was this box's first run this year and when I set it up and made it queenless the first time there was a little bit of brood left now they're getting a little aggravated with this which is you know that's kind of these you'll notice I'm not using smoke not using smoke because I want them to scent my fresh, I want them to smell my fresh grass, know that they're still queenless, and hop on that and start drawing queen cells. And I don't want the smoke to interrupt any of their pheromone processes. Now, here's a comb with a good amount of pollen in it, 
I'm going to hop that over. I'm going to drop that right next to my grafts. And this has got some fresh nectar on it on the other side. So it'll be well fed. Nothing there. Nothing there. A little bit of drone. together in the hive, seal everyone back up. Now, I'll wait a day, in 24 hours, I'll come back, and I will remove the slide bar and check the graphs, turning them back into a queen right condition and letting them settle in for another round.